그러면서 좀 이제 뱀픽부터 상대가 좀 놀라게끔 만들어 줘야 되는 거. 안녕하세요, ladies and gentlemen. It's day two in the next on Starter League, and it's FX Open. The guys you all wanted to see, and it's gonna be D Crux on the other side. A little bit of you guys, a little bit of well, well, I could say teaser info. I hopefully I didn't blow up your ears. First of all, second of all, great to have you all back here for day two. And uh, well, you guys asked a little bit for the background. Well, D Crux, they are a bunch of friends. They actually signed, um, from the team two weeks prior to the qualifiers. And well, hey, they may be new, but they made it into the qualifiers. And of course, something very interesting for you guys to note is, of the um, of the stats taken by these Korean Brunos, they actually m noted down the most banned hero during the qualifiers, and they included Wisp. Bad Rider and Bloodseeker. So D Crux, they fear that Bloodseeker. And it actually means Dota Crux, meaning Dota Core, apparently. So that's what their name means. And yeah, of course, FX Open, they have a couple of teams from the early the early groups of Alliance as well as Kai P, our favorite team ever. And their most banned heroes will be Bad Rider, Nyx Assassin, and Trium Protector. And yeah, I was reading the chat earlier. <laughs> I was reading the chat earlier and I, I kind of like some of your comments well, My favorite one being that the players are actually, well Seated in the, the same way as the Megazords are And yeah, that was a very brilliant observation And yeah, Koreans love to flame their players because of all the fire So anyway, thank you all for being so funny early in the morning Or afternoon, wherever you guys are from at 12 noon over here It's exactly, exactly 12.13 in the afternoon here Singapore time, plus 8 GMT So, Apex Open gonna start off the draft Banning Bad Rider, Trium Protector So it looks like they know what's up in this meta game It's gonna be a Wisp, Gyrocopter banned out Nyx Assassin Visage to FX Open's first two, and of course Darkseer will be the opening pick here for D Crux. Jakiro. Jakiro's gonna be the follow up. Good evening. <laughs> 2 p.m. It's midnight here. 6 a.m. That's okay. Glad to see you guys all over the world. <laughs> right. Hopefully we'll see some micro skills. Yep, that is something. Uh, well, the micro skills. Something we have not really seen. Yesterday there was a little bit of a body block with the Nature's Prophet that we kind of missed because we were looking at some Zeus plays, but hey, it was still really amazing. The game 2 between BMS best magic skills, our, our magic boys, and of course Eye of Tiger. Sadly for them, they did not qualify. Eye of Tiger just rolling over them but uh, in the second and third games, but still, it was impressive. They're the only team that's picked Zeus so far in the coming weeks. And I hope to see a Meepo today. Naga Siren, a micro hero, gonna be removed. Life Stealer, no fun. So just gonna remove him as well. So, gonna see if there's gonna be a Bloodseeker pick since they do see him as well. One of the scary picks that needs to be banned most in the qualifiers. So apparently Koreans, they love killing heroes. They don't really like the creeps. So maybe Bloodseeker is up their alley. So we're gonna see how much they can actually do it. And no oh, Temple Assassin could be taken out by Decrox. And good news for you guys there that say I need a co-caster. Gods has said that he will be casting me for uh, casting with me for the second set. So hopefully he does honor whatever his promise is. And yeah, he does join join up with me in later on. But for now, I'm just gonna cast this best of three on my all on my lonesome. How do you say it? Yep. I'm just going to be casting alone, and hopefully it will be an exciting game. FX Open not just rolling over Decrox, and we're going to see if the bunch of friends that signed up two weeks ago will be able to deal with this Queen of Pain for FX Open. Looks pretty standard now. Can't hear me though, the TV? Yep, going to up that audio right now. Sorry about that. Yep, whenever I pub, I can't really turn it on because people get annoyed. Yep. <laughs> Man yeah, so some guy is telling me that he's not Korean name yet. Uh, Korean words is safe for our dear BMS Korean words prophet. So he will be Korean words forever. And yeah, some guy just said his name is Bu and Kamino. Okay. Thanks for that help. I'm not so sure it did help actually. And I'm gonna look for his real name here. There is the full roster. Oh, looks like his name is exactly Buen Kamino. So Buen Kamino, it's the Korean guy here on Decrux. So there are no more other, there are no more other Korean 
Korean teams here. Oh wow, Bounty Hunter picked up here by Vexel. But this is something that the Alliance or Noho Tidehunter love to draft back then uh, in the old times before Eternal Envy was switched out, before uh, a lot of sw swap arounds, but still. Bounty Hunter, a really strong pick. Not really sure as to why he was actually falling out of favor so hard. I mean, yeah, the armor armor loss was kind of sad, but still, now with the mana cost decrease, the track can actually fly out a lot faster. And it's one of the best heroes for Greed Dodo, the money, the money strat, gold strat, whatever you want. With Alchemist, maybe even Phantom Lancer, Anti Mage Spectre, because you make those heroes rich a lot faster than they should be. So. You're gonna see how it's gonna be done here, but D-Crux, they go for the Savan pick. So very standard, the Savan stun into the Ice Path follow-up. Gonna see if they have another another kind of hero to actually back this combo up. Could be a Lestrac, could be a Lightning, a Lina. But still, this Bounty Hunter pick, they might want to go for some heroes that do not go so suicidal in the fights there and get blown up. Right now, FX Open, they have a lot of new gauge going on. So we need some heals on the way of D-Crux. Possibly a Chen, it could be something else, but... Still, no meeple. Slark for D Croc, so there's gonna be a solo mid. Gonna be a solo mid D uh, yeah, solo mid slark for D Croc, and you guys <laughs> You guys want the Savan 7. <laughs> Some of you guys. Ten seconds. Zero nine Jakiro incoming? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Pick and Vis versus Bounty Hunter. I mean, Slark isn't that bad when it comes to Bounty Hunter because you can actually dark pack it away, so waste waste a lot of Bounty Hunter's mana. So Slark is not that bad. Sentry Wards and Nuke damage counter him counters him a lot more, which is what is my actually biggest peeve with this draft is Slark will get blown up by the Visage, the Nyx Assassin, the Queen of Pain because he can regen, yes, he can escape, yes, can dispel stuns, yep, definitely. But unfortunately for him, he's as paper, as fly paper, sandpaper, whatever you want to call it, any kinds of paper. Paper doesn't last very long in Scream of Pains. So Alchemist is going to be taken out. So no Greed Dota for, Do for D Crocs here and Puck going to be removed. And now we have a Weaver. Multiple off lanes. No, it's gonna be the tri lane weaver, and this is a really scary one because there is a grave chill, there's a Nyx assassin. The Sukuchi actually in the early stages can do quite a lot of damage since you do actually walk through three heroes if you are against a tri lane, and that's a lot of hero damage to rack up those soul points for Visage. So that's a lot of new coming the way of FX Open. D Crux, on the other hand, they have the last pick. What's it gonna be? Is it gonna be Doctor Doom? Is it gonna be Silver? We're gonna see what it is. Uh, Silver is not banned out. Yeah, Silver is not banned out, so it's possible. They could go for a second core or third core because there's a slot solo middle. Darkseer off lane. So it's probably gonna be, um, well, gonna be a support here. Is it gonna be a Rubik? Will be pretty decent. I mean, Sukuchi is really good to steal. There's a Bounty Hunter track that you wanna steal as well. Sonic Wave is always good. Soul Assumption, wonderful. Impale. All nice spells for Rubik to steal. Gonna see if D Crowds do pick him up. And it's a good positioning stun. At that level 1, put him in the ice path, throw the hammer on top of him, and that's gonna be good. Zeus? <laughs> Zeus, maybe. Not so sure about the Zeus. So many invisible heroes. Yep, Korean Dodo. Guys, in case you missed yesterday's game, in case you missed yesterday's game, it is actually very aggressive. And here we go, Undying, the Horde of Undead, the Scourge, D Crux, gonna be going with the Zombies. Alright, so it's gonna be Left 4 Dead here versus a bunch of nukes. So, Alright, the Undying, well, I would say the Undying is pretty good, but the problem with the Undying is all the zombies will make it a lot of, uh, a lot of, you rack up a lot of damage points for the Visage. And it's not exactly the best against Weaver because you don't really have the best lockdown, but one of the best things about Slark against the Weaver, if you get the pounce onto him, Tsukuchi or not, you're still stuck around Weave, uh, around Slark for a really long time. You have about 0.5 seconds left of Tsukuchi to run away, and that really limits your escape capabilities, and I'm pretty sure the time lapse does not disjoin that. You're just time lapse back unless you snap out of it, otherwise you still stay within the pounce radius. So, gonna see how it's done. Weaver will have to be very careful here. Multiple stacks of decay, Soul Rip will destroy them, and... Zombie infestation, Zerk Rush, here we go, d -crux. What are they gonna do? Looks like there's gonna be no Bloodseeker for this round And yep, we're gonna go into the game guys Thank you for all your very insightful comments in the chat Alright, switch it up Wow, look at these guys, they have so many items I really wanna use the Mega Kill Announcer by... Is that Pyrrhon Flax? No, no Pyrrhon Flax, okay Right, so we're gonna run through the teams very quickly here It's gonna be on the on the Raiden side, it's gonna be d -crux or Dota Core. They're gonna have Glacier on the Darkseer, Rex Sikari, gonna be on the Savan, 
Uh, what's his name again? What's his name again? Korean words is Buon Buon Kamino. Yes, Buon Kamino will be on the Jakiro. Please use English. And Slark will be played by One Two Three. Yeah, I like that guy. He has good, easy name. And One S R W. I want a. S uh, yep. And let's go let you guys have your imagination run wild on the dire side. It's gonna be FXO March on Bounty Hunter, Sagoon on Nyx Assassin, QO playing QOP, haha. <laughs> Anarchy finally got his name right. Anarchy gonna be playing Visage and Fabi gonna play Weaver. Why would you stun a Weaver? Rain to be seen. I'm dying. Drop the tombstone here. It's gonna be Soulchan flying up. Slot lands. Anarchy will be feeding first blood. Or will he? Will he? Will he? Yes, he gets first blooded here. One, two, three will go down. So already, Korean Dota living up to his name. Yep, run into zombies. Left for dead time. Let's go. Impale on three. Eyes pop on two. And now Savan. Is he gonna take a fall? And that's gonna be a stop. Runs back into Fabi. Fabi gets a double kill. Will be getting a triple. Is there a triple? Tsukuchi off cooldown. That's a triple for Fabi. And touch it. Poke him. Triple kill for you. And well. GG go next, guys. GG go next. This is Korean Dota for you guys. Four kills before the timer even starts off. We can check out that gold graph. It's the favorite. I love watching this. Look at this. Woohoo! Bugged. Alright, 300 gold advantage to FXO right now. Bring up the last hits and denies. It's gonna be 1 0. So QO, playing QOP. Gonna have to double damage. Slark did get the first blood though, so he's gonna be happy. Unfortunately for him, did not uh, micro in time to get that bottle up, so the APM just not high enough. Meanwhile, Buyuan Kamino gets picked off as well. Pops the clarity potion, has the ice pop ready. Raxikari, you're gonna see if his Savan is doing any good because I mean regeneration, who needs that when you haven't dying, right? So you're gonna see how Fabi actually does against this tri lane when he does have his own tri lane himself. They're gonna stack this up with Anarchy. It looks like the the Koreans spelled it wrong. It wasn't him, that's why the wrong Anarchy is uh, still Anarchy and not Anarchy. So Alright, exciting start already at the start of this game. Buen Kamino, I have to say that a couple of times. <laughs> Ten minute radiance, yeah. Let's make it happen. Ten minute radiance, Fabi. What you gonna do? Fabi's the guy from Alliance, I think, or... Was it Alliance or No Tide Hunter? I, I didn't really keep track of it, but I remember he's one of the guys as well as March. So, we're gonna see how they do it. Slot already not having a good time here. Has the Dark Pack, but unfortunately for you, you can't actually dispel... You can't dispel the Shadow Strike, so... QO. Gonna throw that. Wow, pro dodge. Look at the APM, guys. Sick dodge. Meanwhile, bottom lane, Glacio versus March. So March, gonna have a good time, relatively. You're gonna have a little bit of Shadow Strike, but still, he's gonna tank that damage up. He has Stick Chargers, he has Tangos, he's not gonna mind too much. And of course, Darkseer won't be threatening him in any means, by any means. So he will be able to get some last hits off, and we're gonna see engagement here. And now he just throws a ball of smoke at the guy there. But meanwhile, Sicarly, only sitting at 3 last hits, level 1. So Tranquils for the Weaver. So he's gonna stay up tip and top shape with the Magic Wand. And a whole bunch of items. Surprised to see him, despite getting a triple kill, didn't really have a lot of gold to his name. And Sikari, a little bit afraid to just run in there for a farm. Well, a little bit of farm, but surprised to see the Nyx Assassin not getting mana burn as well. So, a little bit of surprising builds here and there, but no biggie. Jakiro, level 1, gotta go for some sick ganks. Or even some rotations. Probably gonna just go D ward. So, see if D core can actually do something here. You know, Slark has gone for two points at the pounds. Nothing surprising here. Although I, I, I kind of like when Slark had the pounds. I kind of liked it when Slark had the pounds, where he didn't wait, wait, disallowed blink from blinking out of the radius. That was a really strong, that was a really strong time for Slark. It was nerfed later on where blink could just blink out and disjoint it. So that was a little bit of a shame. But in the past, Queen of Pain used to fear Slark a lot. And well, that's twice the Shadow Strike has been dodged. So good play from them. You must construct additional pylons. Yep, you guys. Alright, Sigari, final hit on level 2. Gonna hit level 3 soon. Is he gonna go for some farm? I mean, Nick Assassin even, isn't even near him, so he should just try. I mean, try. Come on, just go for last hit. Gets denied. Oh. Chaos and creeps. Disband. Hopefully, I don't miss any first bloods in some weird lanes. March. That's your still not work, uh, still not really doing much, and Jakiro tries to be a little bit cheeky here. Tries to get the pull off, but he might be in a little bit of danger if Nick Sass and throws out the stun. Grave chill to follow, so has to be very careful when dealing with such pesky people. And we already see the decay stealing some farm here. Twenty last hits for the Queen of Pain in the middle lane. It's gonna be four for the Slark. So one, two, three. Not getting that many creeps here, and. Well, the sum total of his name doesn't even match his creep score, so that isn't too good for him. Meanwhile, Savan's gonna get some juicy creeps coming his way, and the worst, the worst player in Dota history just added me, guys. 
That's amazing. Worst player in Dota history. Starcraft Dota, best Dota. Sikari, get some farm. Come on, get some farm, man. Meanwhile, FXOQO. He's low 5, he's picking up a stick charge. And well, invisibility for Slark, so that's gonna help him quite a bit. I must command the Slark, of course, getting level 5 along with the Queen of Pain. Avoiding the Shadow Strikes is pretty pivotal, and once he hits level 6, he's gonna be A OK. Orb of Venom here for March. I quite like this item, the slow is quite a big deal. 12. 12 slow plus the Janata crits will do quite a lot. Not so sure why as to why he went for 2 points in Shadow Walk. I mean, it does make sure that you don't lose your Shadow Walk just as the cooldown comes off. So, you won't review yourself, you can actually restack that buff, and now Fabi, you're gonna get a piece of decay on him. So, parts of him gonna fall off. Uh, meanwhile, Visage here, still level 2. Well, hit level 3, not so sure. He's saving the skill point actually. So. It's gonna be two flyers, just gonna be contesting to two hell smashers, hell bears. Gets a deny. So good play from the Visage. Punch to the face. Missing that last hit too. And Sakari, are you gonna go delay that? Nope, not gonna deny that. So Sakari just gonna be farming up this very weak and is he gonna stun it? Are you gonna lose your cool? Stun it. Nope. Just gonna leave it there. Leave the wild life alone. Meanwhile, invisibility will ensure that Snark gets uh, quite a bit of Quite a bit of levels. Probably hit level 6, and once he hits level 6, he's gonna be A-OK. -okay. This is the well one of the last chances that Queen of Pain has to kill him. And he doesn't have the rune control, so Queen of Pain not exactly going for the rune control here. The courier is doing overtime. Captain Bamboo! Woohoo! Meanwhile, track on Darkseer, but Darkseer is probably not gonna die. If Darkseer dies, he should disband, but hey, he's gonna go 1-1 one -one against March here. And now, gonna back off there, stick charges, gonna heal him all up. And oh wow, Beaver dives him on the top, Savan goes down. Savan's haven't been doing really well here in in Korean Dota and surge out here mega kill for the Weaver so 10 minute radiance here we come he has about 4 more minutes to get that sacred relic and doing pretty well thus far and not having the shutdown to well kill the Weaver is kind of a bad thing and Darkseer did TP up top with the track on him so they know that he's around and Fabi already sitting on level 6 wow level 6 event level 3 this guy is suffering really hard and you know are they gonna go for something else again they go throw the hammer throw the hammer yeah smack him smack him Smack him. Here comes the surge. They're gonna get him. Are they gonna get him? Hammer! Come on! Not gonna get him. So, stun two mainstream. They have two sentry wards here. They didn't stun him. So. Well, probably gonna bait Weaver in thinking that there isn't any stun. Any sentries. And here we go. Stun on his face. Ice pop to follow. Ice pop gonna catch him there. Are ah, they gonna kill him off? Sentry ward. Vel vacuum. Gonna miss. Fabi's gonna laugh at that and gonna run away. Now he's gonna go back in. That's an unstoppable for him. Savan. Not doing too well. Here comes March. Track go for everyone. Undying, what are you doing? Soul Assumption to the face. Wicked save for Fabi. And it's a 7 0. All the kills on FXO belongs to the Weaver. More diving going on. And this is Korean Dota. Scream to the face. Drops down. Triple kill for Monster Kill. And wow, Fabi. 10 minute radiance looks really, really possible. But no, he's going for that. Maybe no, no, I'm kidding. He's got threats. But he's going to go for something. Slark, he tries to get something on. Dark Pack, he's going to right click QO. QO is just going to run away, laugh at him. And now Dark Pack's going to wear off. Haste rune here. Nyx Assassin comes in with the impale. Track goal as well. Dark Pack, mana burn. No more Dark Pack for you, sir. And scream to the face. 10 to 1 is in. Well, it's the score here. Level 2 Jakiro. Well, he's on his way. 0-9 guys, 0-9 Jakiro. Jakiro Savan, something that Koreans should not pick. That's, I mean, based on what we saw earlier on, they should not be picking these. They, I just feel that they don't really have the, they can't really lane the Savan properly. I'm not so sure. Putting the Savan on an aggressive tri lane uh, is not exactly the best if you don't really have a lot of lockdown to follow up. Especially since you have such a crippling start, you might actually want to send him to the safe lane, get some farm up. And Savans that fall off in the early game don't really get much better in the late game. So right now, hand to one. Uh, <laughs> and double damage here for the Visage. Is he gonna pick it up or is QO gonna walk one big round just to great grab that? But now they have a great map vision over here for D Crops. D Crops, well, they may be great in the pubs, man, but when it comes to the Pro League, this is when FXO is going to show them how it's done. And now, Weaver is going to have the best time of his life there. 1,400, go 8 minutes in. And as well as the Trads, Ring of Regen, and Ring of Basilius. He's like, lol guys, I'm immune. And now, Queen of Pain, killing even more. Own Age, Slark, 
It's gonna latch onto someone, but he's not gonna laugh there. And double damage anarchy. He's gonna be shooting down his tombstone track up here on the slot. And here comes Weaver. He's gonna slow weave his way through the way. And wow, what a disjoint here from one, two, three. Look at that APM Shuriken to the face. Jakiro gonna take a fall here. God like here. Are we gonna see a holy shit eight minutes in? Really? Holy shit. Sakali, he's trying to run. He is trying to run away. And he comes back in. Soul assumption and a touch by Weaver. Not even necessary. Impale's gonna miss there for a little bit. And well, Darcia is gonna run there. Time lapse out. Fabi goes back in time. It's like, nah, I'm gonna keep my call like streak. I'm just gonna wait for the holy shit. 10 minutes in. Possible. Possible. And with that long engagement, Savan still sits at level 4. 14 to 1. Gograf dropping to be 9,000. And well, in true Korean sense, there's lots of aggression and very little farming going on. 44 last hits, 34 and 33. And well, 1 3 on Jakiro. Net worth, 4k8. And 4k3 for the bounty hunter, and oh, Queen of Pain 3.8k. So, <laughs> Mr. D Crops, not doing too well, I must say. There's a sentry war, just keeping tabs on him. They're pinging the Jakiro. Jakiro, level 3, juicy, juicy food. They want him, and well, are they gonna catch him out? Yeah. Here comes March. Here comes March. Chop to the face. And we go. Trackle. Shuriken toss. Wow, look at his HP. If Janata did land there, he could have gotten a kill, but March didn't want to troll. And he's gonna be keeping it there. 14 to 1 now. They're looking pretty good. They do not want to throw this away. And a possibility of 3 to 2 might be coming, guys. Slam here by the familiars. They're gonna surge up on this. And they might feed some familiar gold. Dual breath here on a bunch of creeps. So right now, 5 men dodo. 10 minutes in. And here comes Quap. He screams in. He screams and he. Oh, Jokiro goes in. I mean, he blinked in. He screamed. And well, Jokiro goes down. Now, finally, not to be able to dodge there. Let us on to March. Not exactly the best idea. Storm Hammer flies out. March. Gonna be a little bit of danger here. No, Pops the sick charge. Gonna be A okay. The Familiars, not gonna mind too much. Dark, well, Dark here goes down to the Quap. 16 to 1. Still no kills here. No rebuttals. Soul Sumter flies out. SR, SRW. 1 gets chopped up. And more own age coming out. 17 to 1. And Data. Scream. Triple kill here, 18 to 1. What is this, Korean Dota? But hey, guys, you have to give them credit. They have joined through the qualifiers. Avexo had a lot, a lot of experience. And well, we're just gonna make this as entertaining as a cast as possible. Hope for that 3 2 2. Hopefully, DCAX, DCX can actually get some kills back on the board. And yeah, because when you do start a league like that, a start a scene in Dota, we have to support them. Do not just laugh at them and discourage them from going more and going more into other games such as LOL. So, we must encourage them, although the player discrepancies will be a little bit high. It's all like that when the, when the leaks just start out. So we have to give them support. And once they do get in the scene, we'll have things like StarCraft. I mean, it'll be really good for us. And here comes the holy shit, man. Here comes the holy shit. No, no, no. So, Fabi gonna play it safe there. Ice Path out. Panic, 18 to 1. 1, 2, 3. Meanwhile, not having the best time of his life. He did get first blood, but hey, 1, 2, 3 now. QO. Gonna take some tower damage. Gonna de-aggro that. Gonna top down this tier 1. And Slark still trying to find Radiant's something. Anarchy. Setting a medallion right now. So, looking pretty good. Radiant's Queen of Pain. Tower. Sends the tower crumbling down. Poor Jakiro. Poor, poor Jakiro. Oh, Seven. Goodbye. Holy shit. So, Fabi, beyond god like 12 minutes in, and he's going for Lincoln Sphere. Just, no Radiance, he's just going to be going defensive. The Pinoy build, so to speak. But hey, there's a lot of single targets. So, getting that might be a good idea. 1 to 19 now. So, we, we say that DCX must get some kills, but FXO might have to stop killing in 3 kills. Otherwise, we won't get our 3 2 2, guys. No 3 2 2. I know you guys are all cheering for it. And oh, oh, Jinata crit, just gonna miss there on the head, oh, by her, and wow, gem, already up for this FXO March, so March, having an easy time, probably should go for Vlads for an early Roshan, but they don't really need it with the Medallion up, and they're gonna go Medallion, they're gonna Medallion up Roshan, and they're gonna crush him up pretty fast, I think, they're gonna land the Familiars on his head, Jinata's gonna slow his attack speed, gonna slow his movement speed, Shadow Strike as well, just to dispel for fun, Grave Chill gonna make him crawl, he's gonna, I'm giving up, now. Nah, I'm coming back in, and yep, it's like, uh, yeah, I'm gonna yeah, I'm going back off now, I'm coming back in. And well, I don't think that DCX have a chance to contest this. Aegis, break it. No, no, no. No PM from March. So March gonna pick up the Aegis of Immortal here. And he's gonna TP back home. Heal up, don't wanna waste the Aegis too early. And Sakari, still level 5. Where's that god strength, man? Where is your god now, Sakari? Sakari. Gwen Kamino. Gwen Kamino. Hey, I got his name, guys. I got his name right. Still level 3. Go check out hero levels just for a little bit of comic relief if you call it that I mean it is quite sad 
What's happening right now? Shadow Strike is going to be dodged once again. 3, 4, 5, 7, 7, 8, 8, 11, 11, 11. So triple 11s here. Um, very great numbers. And Narki going to take a little bit of a hammer to the face. But still not going to mind too much. The fans completely out of mana now. Tracked up. And it's 5 man Dota against 4 man Dota. But Fabi says, ah, guys, I'm going to farm. No TP for me as well. Uh, now nah, I'm going to Shukuchi to the build lane. I'm going to go for... I'm going to use the back door, guys. Going to use the back door. Here comes the Snake's Assassin. Vendetta up. And now, Bounty Hunter is going to be diving. Yep, there we go. Dive in. Scream on everyone. Monster kill. And we're going to see more. Wall, a little bit unnecessary. Going to be thrown in. And they're going to get cleared. Entire team wide. No 3 2 for you guys. Overkill by FX. Oh, 1 to 24. This is a stomp of massive proportions. FXO showing them who's boss in this quarterfinals. Best of three. GG. Call out here from Gla Glacier. Great fight here. Well, FXO just showing that they are outclassing this guy that just started two weeks ago in the pro scene. I mean, yeah, it takes a little bit of experience. There are a lot of nerves that you have to handle, drafting styles. Radiance and if you don't watch enough games, you tend to not know the meta game, and without knowing the meta game, you get crushed. 124, and well, that's gonna be that. And very quick games. We're having quicker and quicker games every day. 14 minutes in, 24 kills on FXO. So, well, showing us. That they're clearly the most experienced in this group. Go and see there's gonna be an upset in game two, or is there gonna be some funny picks, or is there gonna be another stomp? Remains to be seen. 124, 20k net worth, 20k gold difference. Finally, the Korean admins learn about their end game console function. So we're gonna have the quick end game, and we're gonna have this game conclude at 1452. Dire victory. And well, this is the next one starter league. It is a starter league for a reason, guys. There is definitely gonna be outclassing here. Similar to Singapore in Dota as well with Zenith as well. First departure always taking top few spots. Natalie SG as well. So, right guys, it's going to be FXO. Remember guys, always support them. Do not mock them too much. And hopefully we'll see more and more experienced Dota players from Korea in the near future. We do not want to discourage them guys. Alright guys, if you like my if you like my casting, I'm Lysander Zenora. Follow me on my Twitch TV. I'm going to hit 500. Once I do hit 500, I will be giving away stuff. My Facebook has already hit 500. So follow me on my Twitch.tv slash Lysanderzenora. Follow me on my Twitter, at Lysanderzenora. If you don't have Twitter, Facebook will do as well. Find my Facebook page, like it up. And well, thank you for all your support. And I'll see you guys in game two. Stat screen for you guys who want to see it.